<laughs> yeah, all right. What, what I'm finding interesting is I thought I would be all over you with this. Yeah. Uh, I thought I'd really have the edge. Hi, it's Todd from Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here, and I am back with Joe Gibbs. Hello. At Stanton Harcourt Manor House, this amazing place that was besieged by a bunch of archers in 1450. Now, we just did a film where we're shooting for distance, and uh, it significantly improved things from shooting up there. But of course, an attacking force is not going to be 300 yards in the distance, they're going to be up close. So we've got crenellations today that we can go and play with. And all those questions we want to know about, can you shoot straight down? Can you shoot over there? Is a crossbow better? Is a longbow better? What are the practical implications of shooting from that very place where they were shooting in 1450? Should we go find out? Let's do it. This is actually amazingly awkward because the windless handles pretty much dragging over the stairs at the front. It's also quite tiring. Oh. Well, it's got properly awkward now because the roof is coming in. And this thing's actually about 1.2 meters long, about four foot long. So I'm just gonna swap it. It's also heavy. <laughs> anyway, see you up there. We're back on top of Pope's Tower here in Stanton Harcourt. And we have three of our knights set out in the garden there below. So there's one about sort of 20 odd yards away and then getting closer. Now the reason for that is of course we know that you can shoot, as we saw in the last film, a long distance. But what happens when the guys come in close? The thing is, this is not a castle. It's not even a fortified manor house. These are effectively decorative, but they were used in the siege of 1450. You know, people shot from here were shot at from here. We do need to bear in mind as we try things out that actually castle walls are very often a lot thicker than this. So, who's first, you or me? Uh, I think you should go first. Really? Yeah, because you love heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you not like heights? As ever, there's a little bit of preparation with these things. This is where Joe is just standing in the back laughing and laughing. Okay, we're in. But you know, today is a day to try and work out a little bit what these were all about. Now you can shoot downwards. This is a bit awkward because health and safety wasn't going to be an issue in 1450. It is a little bit now. Right, Joe. I think it must have hit a big bit of timber in the target, but it was basically shoulder. Sounded good though. Sounded good. Right, your turn. So I've got to be careful of my limbs. Yeah. On there and on the floor. I mean, it is awkward. The whole it's, thing is awkward. It's, it's very awkward, especially with a heavy bow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just in his stomach. Yeah, so nice one. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I had to stand right back and the whole thing is just, it is difficult. Yeah, it was very difficult for me, actually. I was. I think I'm going to really struggle with the next two. You know, I watch you shooting in a field and you are going through a very particular set of movements. Mm. This is restricting you like heck. It, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the way and i um, not used to it. And also this, the whole point of coming right down. So, yeah. um, you want to keep as straight a back as possible and I'm having to bend right over and start, start bending the spine and it, it you know. All right. It's going well, to be hard work. What I would say is, you know, don't hurt yourself. I don't know, maybe they use lighter weight bows or something like that in this situation. I don't know. Yep. Because obviously they're going to know that it's a problem. Right. Centre chest. Did you get here? Oh, nice shot. Yeah. Okay. But you know what though? Again, arrows versus armour trials. That would have bounced off, would have done nothing. Yep. Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. we've seen it, it does nothing. Face shot, that's what I wanted, and actually, that's what I missed. Mm. Okay, let's have a go. Oh. Just over. Yeah. 
More to the point though, how did you feel? I mean, if I said to you, right, I want another 30 of them. Not another 30, but I would like to just do one more. Really? Yeah. Same guy? Yeah. Take it away. So I'm going to say our nearest guy, certainly, and, um, and this is clear as you like, our nearest guy, if I was a bit worried, a bit sweaty, a bit people are shooting at me, I'm not going to be able to hit him because, you know, I've got stuff yeah. around here. It's all going to, it will go wrong. So actually, I, I'm just going to back out of that. That nearest guy is, yeah. which is, he's still 12 yards from the edge of the tower, 12, 12 meters. And I can't touch him, okay. actually. Now, if I leant right out the crenellations, yeah. yeah, but then my whole body yeah. is exposed. I'm having to wind myself out and my bow. Nobody's going to do that. No. So next time I besiege a castle, you're going to stick close to the walls. Yeah. yeah. But I suppose there's, there's going to be that sweet spot, isn't there? Far enough away, people can't dump stuff on you. Yeah. Um, you know, but close enough, they can't adequately okay. shoot you. So can you shoot that, that guy near us? A bit like yourself, I can't. I could, if I had a lighter bow, I could probably hang out and, uh, and do a cheap, sneaky little shot through there, but with this one, yeah. I can't lean out of there, not a hope. But I'm, I might just give it a go from here, if I can just, if I can just get it down really? there. Yeah, I want to have a go. What, what I'm finding interesting is I thought I would be all over you with this. Yeah. Uh, I thought I'd really have the edge, and I don't. The advantage that I thought I'd really have by shooting closer, I haven't got, no. actually. God, it's okay. a day of disappointment for me. Let's give that uh, closer one a go. Okay. Whoa, hold on a minute. I couldn't quite get low enough. No, I can't do that though, one. Just can't get that angle. Interesting. Yeah. His whole, whole shoulders are offline and everything. It's probably with a, like a 100 pound bow, 80 pound bow. Yeah. Yeah, could just about do it, but not with this. So looking at that document as well, they say over that six hour period, thousand arrows shot, but only one guy was killed. Really? Yeah, which is <laughs> like pretty rubbish return really on your investment in arrows. But it does mean that the guys sheltering here, um, must have been sheltering quite well. You know, how would you defend this place to not get shot? So, so obviously I'd load up, put it on the string, and then you'd have to step out into, into mm, everyone's Space. field of fire, really, wouldn't you? Uh, and then pick your target, draw up, aim, and go. That's, that's, you know, second, second and a half. Yeah. Because you've got all the fumbling around of stepping out, looking and then coming back down that's that's mm. a long time and then i suppose you probably had a quick couple of peaks generally yes. so you know where you're going to be going your head out, maybe. I, I don't think i'm really going to be that much different so i'm you know i slightly have a, an advantage although it's slower i can actually sort of crouch that's here true. but but even doing that i've still got a massive exposure there and there you know it's not like i'm hidden mm. um so you know i'd be more inclined to 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 go away from the edges oh, really yeah. because you know arrows are still going to come in there um, and then once I am actually spanned, and then you can crouch down where I'm basically immune from shot, and then you can stand up, bam, and down. And that's probably the quickest way that I can do it. You're not gonna be able to do that. So at least that's one slight advantage. But it's not the game-changing advantage yeah. that I thought crossbows might have in this situation. So yet again, audience, explain to me why they were so good. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> even though I love them. So I think it's a pretty straightforward conclusion, really, if depressing for me. So um, <laughs> I thought I'd have this one in the bag and that I would be able to do things here that you can't. And that's actually not the case. So there might be a very slight advantage in, in me being able to have cover when I'm shooting, but not that much. I have to expose myself to. Yep. I can't shoot down like actually I thought I probably could. Not, not realistically. I'm going to be hanging out and be a beautiful target. I can shoot basically the same targets that you can shoot. Maybe I can go a bit longer because with your heavy bow, you are going to end up hurting yourself. Yeah. It. It's not going to matter to me. And you are not going to have unlimited missiles either. Nope. Um, so the fact that you can shoot 10 shots in a, in a minute doesn't yeah. matter because you're not going to. Yeah. 
So I think that's probably where the advantage comes. I can keep up awkward shooting. Actually, that is probably where yeah. it is. I can keep up awkward shooting better than you yeah. can keep up awkward shooting. Mm. Maybe it's just as simple as that, yeah. really. It was very awkward for me, mm. to be honest. Um, and that's with yeah. skinny walls, yeah. not even fat walls yeah, that you true. get on a castle. I think I'll settle on that as a conclusion. I can do it for longer than he can do it. <laughs> um, not as exciting an outcome as I wanted. Anyway, right, let's um, have another last go, go at then. that far guy there. We're going to go for accuracy this time. Accuracy, right then. So, ten pints for a face shot. <laughs> Two for a chest shot. Okay. Get. I got him here. Oh no. But not here. <laughs> That's uh, the bottom limb. Oh, really? Yep. You can see the uh, little scratch. See the scratch, look where it is. Yeah. So that's put that, otherwise that shot would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I don't have to completely ignore that. So, Joe, for the very first and probably last time in my life, I have just outshot Well it. done. <laughs> Brilliant. Guys, thank you very much. Anyway, uh, for us, it's definitely been an education. So, Joe, thank you. It's been great. Thank you. See you again.